Hello guys, welcome to the last video of machine learning with Python tutorial series and I think in this series I have covered quite a lot of things like uh, supervised learning including linear regression, logistic regression, uh, Kenyan's neighbor, support vector machine for classification and regression and we also cover uh, supervised machine learning with uh, K-means clustering and in the last video I want to provide you one more example uh, for k-means clustering, but for this side, I'm going to use another data set uh, which is a movie data set uh, that consists of the title of the movie and also the the summary or all the or the overview of the of the of the, of the movie and then we are, we will uh, try to let the k-means clustering algorithm to um, extract some useful information from the overview and then to let the algorithm to uh, actually group uh, this uh, huge bunch of uh, movies uh, into different clusters so uh, so without further ado let's look at how we can do that real quick so uh, the data set that you will need uh, can be downloaded from this link I'm going to uh, paste uh, this link in our description of this video and after that just go ahead to your Google Colab and create a new notebook as usual and then uh, after that from Google Colab import files then the upload it you go to files.upload and then go ahead and select the files that you have downloaded which is the movie data set that we have today uh, because this uh, data is a big data file uh, which is 15 MB so I have uploaded beforehand to save time and the next thing that you want to do is as usual you want to uh, read it into a data frame and then from there we can explore it further and see what we can do from there so I'm going to uh, say step one uh, load the data so I want to use a pandas as usual import pandas as pd then from and df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv then we're going to read in our movies data set dot csv then df dot head cool so uh, in this data set we have the ID of the movie and then we also have the title of the movie and then we also have the overview which is like a synopsis or a summary of what the movie is about so the next thing that we want to do is to explore the data uh, for example step 2 uh, explore the data so we're going to say uh, df.info uh, no. Um, and df.info basically won't give you uh, anything useful because uh, I know that for sure title and overview are object data type but that is okay because uh, later on we are going to use something called vectorizer from scikit-learn to change them into a uh, number instead of string so that uh, we can use clustering to process this data so um, the next thing that we want to do um, is to um, use something called DFIDF vectorizer uh, that is something available from scikit-learn so if you go to scikit-learn and then you look for feature extraction um, and then here it explains that text analysis um, you can actually do something like tokenizing, coding, and normalizing uh, for the purpose of extracting a feature or useful information for a bunch of text. And uh, for here, we are going to use the um, vectorizer. And yeah, you can go through this bunch of uh, information, but then we are going to text feature extraction here. Uh, if you scroll the way down, you can see that. TF IDF vectorizer is the something that we want to use. Uh, we are going to remove uh, those uh, stop words. Stop words are something like uh, the 
a uh, is in English which carry a uh, very little uh, meaningful information so these are things that we want to uh, omit uh, in our analysis and then we want to focus about the actual contents in the document so therefore we want to use a TDIDF vectorizer and uh, there is a sample code here and also yeah so without further ado let's look at how we can do that and to do that it's very simple you just go back to your so step three is uh, data pre-processing then we are going to say from scikit-learn feature extraction dot text import tf idf vectorizer and then from scikit-learn dot cluster import k-means k is something that we want to use later so go ahead and run this and then we are going to change um, the overview into um, Unicode the overview we want to extract its values and then we want to change it to time of Unicode so what is Unicode? Um, I'm pretty sure most of you uh, know as Unicode but in case you don't know it just go to Google and look for Unicode uh, it's something basically that uh, any any letter any symbol can be represented in a Unicode uh, so that uh, any lang any computer can recognize any language or any mobile phones can can recognize any language uh, yeah so this is something that is uh, universal uh, even as a standard in the entire world so we're going to change our string uh, the English to Unicode and then we are going to use the vectorizer function to uh, remove the stop words and then extract uh, meaningful information from, from the overview. So uh, then we want to say vectorizer is equal to TD, IDF vectorizer, and then stop words is equal to English. We want to remove those uh, English stop words and then we want to fit underscore transform. transform uh, this uh, Unicode uh, bunch of information transform from uh, uh, the overview and then go ahead and run this it will take a little bit of time depends on your uh, data set size and at this moment uh, we should actually run the elbow method to determine the k do you want to use for clustering but uh, because of this is a large data set uh, if we go back to df.info we can see that we have 45,000 entry uh, which is considered quite a uh, huge data set um, so if you run the method uh, for example for 1 to 20 it will probably take quite some time to do um, so because of the time constraint here I don't want uh, to show how you how you want to do uh, how how to do an elbow method here because in the last video I, do, I already show you how you can do uh, the elbow method to determine the optimal k so you can do it on yourself but for simplicity here I'm just going to assume let's say k equal to 20 uh, to uh, proceed further so let's say k equal to 20 and then we are going to um, use the k-means uh, clustering model and then number of cluster equal to k so max iteration is 100 and the model dot fit features is um, the information that we have transformed from text uh, to something uh, that is meaningful so go ahead and run this and it will probably take 30 to 40 seconds to finish this so what happened after this is um, we will have uh, 20 clusters for example cluster 0 to cluster 19 and what we want to do is to uh, create a new column in the um, our data set and then we put the label uh, which lines is belong to which cluster so from that we can see uh, clearly uh, how our model uh, actually separate those lines into different cluster those movies into a different cluster 
So this is our model, our k-means model, number cluster equal 20. And so we can say, uh, we can create a new column or df uh, cluster column equal to model dot labels. Go ahead and run that. And then if you say df dot head, you can see that now we have a new column, which is called cluster. And then our movies are basically uh, labeled with uh, different cluster. And for now, um, we can actually uh, output this into some CSV file. Uh, we don't want to output them into one CSV file, which is difficult to uh, read. We want to output them into, let's say, 20 CSV files, depending on the number of cluster that you have. And from there, uh, yeah, to do that, um, what we want to do is to, um, we want to group uh, the lines with uh, same label, the same cluster. Uh, into one document and then we want to output that document into a CSV file. So to do that, um, we need to use this bunch of codes and say we want to group by by using cluster. You want to group the data by cluster and then for each cluster in the group 1 to 20, we want to create a CSV file for each cluster and then we want to get the title and overview column in our CSV file and then we set the index in our CSV file as the ID so go ahead and run this and then once this is done you will see that you will have 20 documents here cool so if you download let's say one of them and then go ahead and open it You will see that yeah these are the movies with title and overview and then these are the id so these are the movies that is belongs to class number one so if you inspect other document you will get the movie that is belongs to other cluster cool but now we have 20 cluster and it looks all right but then we can't really figure out how the machine separate into 20 cluster so what is cluster 1 referring to what is cluster 2 referring to how they are separate into 20 cluster we we have no idea about that so what we can do is to check the central gravity of each cluster and then we try to print out the feature terms of each clusters so from there we can probably have some information of how the machine separate them into 20 clusters for example cluster 1 maybe belongs to family movie cluster 2 is a romance movie cluster 3 is a thriller movie something like that so to do that which is our final step we will use this code so we want to print out cluster centroid number and then we want to uh, use the vectorizer again to get the feature name uh, which is the feature terms in that clusters so for i in the range of k from 1 to 20 and then we want to print out the cluster number and then we also want to print out the terms so go ahead and run that cool so now you can see that we print out uh, some text and then some feature terms in each cluster so yeah for example cluster 19 we have police thief criminal so we can probably say that cluster 19 is any movie that's involving criminals or thief or police kind of movie then it will be segregate or um, cluster into cluster 19 and then 17 is something that is related to family, father, mother. So we can say that probably all the movies that is related to family will be in the cluster number 17. Things like that. Yeah, cool. So um, yeah, cluster 11 probably related to war 
or soldiers, army, anything that is probably an action movie kind of cluster. So, I think that's all for our uh, canyons clustering. And then also this will be our last video for um, um, machine learning for Python tutorial series. And I hope you really learned something from our tutorial. Uh, if you like our video, uh, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. So I'm thinking maybe I want to also do machine learning uh, series with using other programming language. And probably I also want to do something uh, that uh, is easy to learn without any programming at all. Um, so if you like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. See you.